Hello there! My name is Rimar and welcome to my Remarkable Videos. At para na naman sa isang supplementary video for Mathematics Grade 10, ito ang Module 2, Illustrating Arithmetic Sequence. Target skills or objectives. Pre-test muna. A few minutes later. Let's start with the definition of an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant called common difference. So, magiging importante ang common difference sa arithmetic sequence. Sa example na 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, and so on, na binigyan natin ng notation na a sub 1 hanggang a sub n, this is considered an arithmetic sequence dahil na-obtain natin yung mga sumunod na mga terms by adding a common term, which is 4. Correct. So, 4 will be our common difference in this example arithmetic sequence. Now, let's talk about how to find or solve for the common difference of an arithmetic sequence. To find the common difference or D, just subtract two succeeding terms. For example, consider the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and 19. These are denoted by the a sub 1 up to a sub 6. Now, let's find D for the common difference. For our solution, we will be getting succeeding terms. First two succeeding terms are a sub 1 and a sub 2. Now, we are going to subtract a succeeding term by its preceding term. So, unahin natin yung pangalawa, subtract it by yung nauna. So, a sub 2 minus a sub 1 a sub 3 minus a sub 2, a sub 4 minus a sub 3, a sub 5 minus a sub 4, a sub 6 minus a sub 5. So let's solve. Yung a sub 2 minus a sub 1 ay 7 minus 4, which is 3. Yung a sub 3 minus a sub 2 ay 10 minus 7, which is also 3. And so on, yung 13 minus 10 is also 3, 16 minus 13 is 3, and the last pair, 19 minus 16, is 3. Since they are common, they are called common difference. Let's consider example number 3. Given 7p plus 2, 5p plus 12, 2p minus 1 as an arithmetic sequence. What is P? What is the common difference? Observe natin na ang ating arithmetic sequence ay binubuo ng mga algebraic expressions. So, paano natin isosolve ang common difference at hahanapin yung value ng P para makompleto natin ang buong problem? Let's see the solution. 7P plus 2, 5P plus 12, and 2P minus 1 is an arithmetic sequence. Therefore, sila yung first three terms, a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. Let's start finding the value of p. So, by solution of common difference, so subtract natin yung dalawang succeeding terms. So, a sub 2 minus a sub 1, and a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Bakit sila equal? Because they are common. Pareha sila ng value. Now, by substitution, yung a sub 2 natin ay 5p plus 12. Yung a sub 1 ay 7p plus 2. Yung a sub 3 ay 2p minus 1. At yung a sub 2 ay 5p plus 12. Then, let's solve using subtraction. Let's recall linear equations in solving this problem. We observe na ginroup natin ang mga common terms. So, yung 5p ay kasama na ni 7p. Si 12 ay kasama ni 2. So, that is 
grouping common terms. Let's see on the other side. 2p minus 5p minus negative 1 minus 12. By solution, 5p minus 7p is negative 2p. 12 minus 2 is 10. 2p minus 5p is negative 3p. And negative 1 minus 12 is negative 13. By transposition, yung negative 3p ay mapupunta sa left side at magiging siyang positive 3p. Yung positive 10 naman ay magpupunta sa right side at magiging negative 10 para ma-regroup natin ang common terms. So, let's continue solving. Negative 2p plus 3p is p and negative 13 minus 10 is negative 23. That is the value of p. Let's continue the solution and this time, let's find D or the common difference. Ito yung tatlong terms na nasa ating arithmetic sequence. Yung A sub 1, 7P plus 2. Yung A sub 2 na 5P plus 12. At yung A sub 3 na 2P minus 1. Ano yung una natin na solve kanina? The value of P, which is negative 23. By substitution, isolve natin yung tatlong terms. Yung A sub 1 ay magiging 7 times negative 23 plus 2. Yung 5p plus 12 ay magiging 5 times negative 23 plus 12. At yung last ay magiging 2 times negative 23 minus 1. Let them this rule. Negative 161 plus 2 is negative 159. Negative 115 plus 12 equals negative 103. And negative 46 minus 1 is equal to negative 47. Hence, the arithmetic sequence is negative 159, negative 103, and negative 47. So, ano ang common difference? By using the subtraction of succeeding terms, makukuha natin ang common difference ay 56. Sa previous module, napag-usapan natin ang general term or nth term ng mga sequence. Dito naman, pag-uusapan natin ang general or nth term of an arithmetic sequence na na-express into an equation or rule na a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Sino-sino sila? Si a sub 1 si first term, si a sub n ang nth term, Si D ang common difference at yung N will be your number of terms. So we will be familiarizing ourselves with this general term para mas maintindihan natin ang arithmetic sequence. Let's consider the first example. Given the arithmetic sequence 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, 29, and so on, find the arithmetic sequence rule. Let's find a sub n. For our solution, we need the following given. Kita natin ang unang term sa ating arithmetic sequence ay 4. And yung common difference nila ay 5. Since 9 minus 4 is 5, 14 minus 9 is 5, and so on and so forth with subtracting succeeding terms. So kailangan natin hanapin ang general term ng arithmetic sequence sa example number 1. By the general rule na a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So, ang unang gagawin ay substitution. Yung a sub 1 natin ay 4. Yung common difference natin ay 5. Let's simplify. It will become a sub n equals 4 plus 5n minus 5. That's multiplication of 5 to the binomial n minus 1. By rearranging... We will have a sub n equals 5n minus 1. That gives us the arithmetic sequence rule of our example 1. Let's check if it's correct. a sub n equals 5n minus 1. So let's try it with the first term. 5 times 1 minus 1 is 4. That's the first term. Let's try to the second term. 
5 times 2 minus 1 equals 9. That's the second term, and it is in the given arithmetic sequence. That concludes that the arithmetic sequence rule for example 1 is a sub n equals 5n minus 1. You try example 2. Did you get this correctly? Now, let's talk about the so-called arithmetic means. Finding arithmetic means. Ano ba ang arithmetic means? Arithmetic means are terms m sub 1, m sub 2, and so on to m sub k between two numbers a and b such that a, m sub 1, m sub 2, and so on to m sub k, and b is an arithmetic sequence. Para mas maintindihan natin ang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic means, let's see this example. Insert the missing terms from the arithmetic sequence. So yung nawawalang term ay pwede nating tawaging arithmetic mean. 5, 11, 17, blank, and 29. So ano ang term na nawawala sa pagitan ng 17 and 29? For our solution, let's get the common difference on the available or given terms. So meron tayong succeeding terms na 5, 11, 17. So gamitin natin sila to get our common difference. 11 minus 5 is 6. 17 minus 11 is 6. So we can conclude na ang common difference nila ay 6. Then add the common difference 6 to the preceding term. So 17 plus 6 will be 23. And 23 will be the missing term or the arithmetic mean of our given example. Let's consider example number 2. Insert the arithmetic means between 6 and 54. So ito yung given natin na example para sa finding arithmetic means kung saan ito ang maging itsura ng kanyang sequence. Observe na wala tayong makikitang succeeding terms so medyo may hirapan tayong mag-consider ng common difference. So ano ba ang pwede natin gawing solution? Based sa ating given, ang alam lang natin ay first term and the last term which is 6 and 54. But we can also say na meron tayong 5 terms sa ating sequence, kaya meron tayong n equals 5. Now, let's solve for the common difference using the general form. Again, yung general form natin ng arithmetic sequence ay a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. By substitution, Yung a sub n natin or yung last term ay 54, yung first term ay 6, yung n is 5, then hanapin natin ang common difference. Let's simplify. 54 equals 6 plus 4d. 4d dahil 5 minus 1 equals 4. Then 54 minus 6 by transposition equals 4d. We'll get 48 equals 4d. And by division of both sides, ng 4, 48 divided 4 is 12, 4 divided 4 is 1. Kaya ang matitira na value ng D ay 12. Now, meron tayong common difference at pwede natin siyang i-add sa preceding term. Ito ang ating incomplete arithmetic sequence. By adding the common difference 12 to the first term, we get 18. Adding the common difference 12, we get 30. Adding the common difference 12, we get 42. To check, by adding 12, we get 54. Therefore, the three arithmetic means or yung nawawala nating terms in the arithmetic sequence ay 18, 30, and 42. Practice Exercises minutes later.
Assessment time. Please answer post-test and additional activities. Thanks for watching and learning. Be good. Be mathly good.